Move on now. In former Anglican Archbishop David Gitari has passed away. Gitari died at the Mata Hospital where he had been admitted following a short illness. He will be remembered for many things, including fighting fiercely for multi party politics. KTN's Edith Kimani looks at the life of the former Archbishop who took his ministry beyond the pulpit. There is an ominous silence at the Mata Hospital when KTN arrives. Family members of the late Archbishop David Gitari are still trying to come to terms with news of their kin's demise. A heavy disquiet can be felt. The family, yet unable to express their grief in words. We are saddened and really do not have words at the moment to express the loss. It's a tragic loss for the church, for the society, and the loss of the family. Gitari's sudden death has left many stunned, but the former Archbishop did not believe in keeping quiet. No this Using the pulpit as his platform, the late Gitari delivered fiery sermons preaching against land grabbing, especially by powerful politicians. His campaign against dubious land allocations, a subject that continues to be a hot-button issue, earned him love and hate in equal measure. I'm sure if the women can display their right for part, this nation will be a better nation. But Gitari's comment was not limited to land issues. On many an occasion, he openly criticized the Kanu regime his campaign was to reach its peak in 1988 when he led the movement against rigging of the general election in the no longer voting system. The late Gitari's outspoken nature did not go unnoticed and in 1989 a large and heavily armed gang raided his house. In a recent interview with the Standard newspaper, Gitari narrated how the estimated 100 gang members threatened to kill him. He told of how he managed to escape to the roof with his family where he called for help from his neighbors. Neighbors who are now coming together to mourn his death. Uh, plans for the arrangements will be communicated to the church and also well, to the society later. Gitari was the third African Archbishop in Kenya and Bishop of the Diocese of Nairobi in the Anglican Church of Kenya, a service he provided for five years. The 76-year-old was married to Grace Wanjiro, with whom he had three children. It is this man, close friends we have spoken to remember. A funny man who told a joke so well, one never knew when the punchline was coming, described one of his old friends. Back at the Mata Hospital, details of the late Archbishop's death are still unknown. Family members say he was admitted two weeks ago. A solemn family now prepares to make funeral arrangements with the first of this process being the transfer of his body to the Montezuma Funeral Home. Edith Kimani, KTN Prime.